Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Elle. Long time no see, first of all. I haven't uploaded in like months. Last time I uploaded was like in November of 2023. <laughs> so like two months ago. I'm not proud at all. It's just a lot has happened. I went back home in December, came back to Montana. I'm currently in Montana. This is my room. It's kind of a chaotic vibe. <laughs> Maybe I'll clean up a bit, make it more aesthetic right now for you. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna give you an update of where I've been at, what's been happening, and yeah, what my goals are for this channel. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a little mini <laughs> presentation, if you will, at the side of the screen. So I can give you a more of a visual perspective to auditory explanation. So this video overview will basically be me explaining where I've been, the vision board that I've put together for the New Year's, and how I started going to parties Persons. Sounds more exciting than what it actually is and how I am moving away from Montana in March so in two months I haven't really shared this on social media or on my channel because I've been inactive obviously but I had to really go home back in December was there for a month I was in a really bad mental health moment I couldn't get my brain to focus on anything I was incredibly dissociated for a lot of the time I was in Montana in October and November. I, I'm i really good at like not making it seem obvious sometimes. By the end of November, beginning of December, I was not able to get away with it anymore. I was literally going crazy in Montana just because of a lot of personal reasons. If you're, if you're familiar with Mexican families, they're so into food gift giving. Like I stayed with my parents, just having food from them was amazing. Yeah, I ate so much. I didn't cook for the longest time. I really do hate cooking like it's something that I don't wish upon anyone and yeah I just miss talking to people on a casual basis and not like romantically casually like have a casual conversation like just didn't want it to be about like external goals external meetings external things ambitions yeah, I just generally miss having people to talk to like friends I, I didn't have that in Chicago I do have those people where I can like descent and just like be myself so it was really healing for me to do that and then I started making more of like a life game plan I think as a Pisces <laughs> gonna blame the astrology things I have just been going with the flow for the past like two years and it hasn't worked out though obviously <laughs> I took the time to <laughs> really orient myself to like creating this like revolutionary vision board it's like a 50 slide thing just to like <laughs> create a path forward for myself and to just like really take control of my life again like it's really needed at this point and yeah chicago just kind of reminds me of like how much i love the city how much i love diversity in general montana where i'm at in the small town i am like the only latina <laughs> and if you know me i really care about latinx culture and stuff so why am i in montana people keep asking me i don't know i was going with the flow <laughs> I need to change it. So going into my vision board that I made, I do really need to focus on myself, hence why I'm making the time to make this YouTube video. I recognize this channel is very much me sharing my perspective of my life and I really need it because it's always been the exact opposite. I'm always just giving and giving and giving to others, but I never take the time to create my own space and my own like platform. I'm kind of like in my bad bitch era, it kind of feels like that. I'm really into the manifesting vibe really want to manifest money into into my life i'm really broke right now for a 26 year old turning 27 in march which is two months away it's really scary to kind of think about and i can almost say that my growth is reminiscent of like a snake slash moth slash like butterfly i don't really know how to explain it it's just kind of a vibe but yeah i'm really focused on spiritual growth and i really am pursuing more of my dreams because of it and through it i really want to focus on sustainable fashion on ethical fashion the only way i can really get there is if i focus on my financial liberation this year so just working really hard going from like broke to having savings and then good checkings and like 
having student loans paid off, building on my credit score and like working on business ideas, like just doing a lot of paid freelance stuff. And I really do want to find a new remote job just so that I can no longer have to be in Montana. The two jobs that I'm working right now, they're both part-time. It requires me to be in Montana and that's not an ideal situation for me whatsoever. But this will obviously require me to not give any fucks of what other people think of me. Like I've, I guess I've stayed in Montana because I've just been afraid what people are going to think if I like stop what I had been doing in the past or if I do move away like I've just been really in my head about people judging me like even right now I'm like what are people thinking of me because I've been in my room for the past three days since I've come come back to Montana you know like I just really want to prioritize myself like I just really want to be happy like <laughs> if you notice I'm a lot in my, on my list I want a dental artsy social justice this New York boy. I'll get into the New York thing <laughs> a little bit more. Again, super into like the social justice slash like fashion education stuff. Like that's obviously one of the re main reasons why I'm doing this YouTube channel and video. Also, I I've always wanted to go to London. Like it's always just been a dream of mine. I don't know. It's just, it sounds beautiful. Like just walk the streets. I just want to like eat the food and like I don't know, it's been a dream of mine my whole life. I, I want to move to New York! <laughs> I am doing everything I can right now to make it work. It's just like credit scores are something that I've never really prioritized before. So I actually took out my first credit card when I was back at home and it just came like yesterday. So I know what my credit score is. <laughs> I, I didn't know if I had a credit score until like yesterday. <laughs> so that that was that was taken care of. I'm now a proud credit card owner and now i know my credit score and hopefully i'm like one step closer and getting an apartment in new york you know like having dreams does help you prioritize like your real life um and not just like winging it <laughs> all the time some of the things that will help me though like relax and just kind of like go with the flow because i know it's needed is like to go on adventures i really love nature i really love just like exploring new places so just having like moments during the year to be somewhere that i've never been before i think will be actually like very important to me and then yeah, I just really want to grow closer to like my personal style, which is, as you can see from the slide, it's a matcha green girly vibes. I should have worn something green. I bought a lot of like green things. I actually have like this green sweater that I've been obsessed with. It's <laughs> not folded. Um, let's ignore that but yeah i just really more want more of like a hyper feminine look i really do want to go towards more like princess slash like mermaid vibes this is more of like a masculine fit and i have like casual pants right now which i mean it's a sunday <laughs> but it's like not what I want. So I have to remember that this is what I want. Like I want to gravitate towards like coral stuff, like towards glitter accents. Things that are both like cozy and sexy that kind of like are reminiscent to nature. Um, have this like chic aesthetic. I really want to do take inspiration from outside. Right now it's winter though and it's like negative 10. That's not an excuse, it's just in reality. So, But I do want to accentuate it with like green and like a y2k vibe and i want it to be like fun but like bad bitch you know <laughs> so yeah i'm working on my personal style and then this is my career overview so there's a lot of things that have been on my mind i'm really focused on my career this year as i was saying i have a game plan i want to like do what i've always wanted to do which is my own dreams so basically i've always wanted to be a sustainable fashion designer if you haven't seen my last video i was really grappling with like wanting to be a fashion designer because i used to be a social justice organizer but i'm all in now future videos are coming out on diy upcycling making things i'm so hyped i really want to grow this youtube channel 
channel i'm gonna make it a very serious point to be uploading every week even though i'll be working 50 hours a week at my other two part-time jobs so this will be my third part-time job i want to put like 20 to 30 hours in the evenings and during the weekend and i really do want to focus on this becoming a place where it's both educational content but also lifestyle i want to grow my ethical fashion blog called sustainable amor and it focuses on ethical fashion social justice and environmentalism so i really want to just like write a blog post every week for that i want to grow my tiktok channel and that will be in conjunction with my youtube so i'll be making tiktoks out of the youtubes that i'm making and then I'm coming out with a little podcast on sustainable fashion, just like me, like chatting in my room, sharing my thoughts. Um, I already have like three podcast ideas and that I'm going to be doing. And I think it'll just be like one podcast episode a month. They'll be just uploaded on this channel, honestly. I'm really manifesting that I'll be reaching 100,000 subscribers within the end of this year. It's a big goal, but I would like to go big versus going home. <laughs> <laughs> like I have nothing to lose like why can't I say a hundred thousand and then I honestly want two videos to go viral I want to make money off of YouTube I know it sounds very materialistic but no one should be having three part-time jobs like no one should <laughs> be working 60 hours a week which is something that I will be doing starting next week um I'm gonna go a little bit crazy so don't mind me if I say I want to make money off of YouTube I want to work with cool brands like I want to work with like third up Poshmark eBay secondhand platforms that are you know reselling used clothing I ideally have a dope manager to help me navigate everything <laughs> and yeah i want to edit every day for at least one hour it's really going to be just like progress over perfection but with a vision board and with manifesting if you don't have a strategy then like you're just talking stuff with no realistic grounding so basically i'm uploading every sunday and my goal is that these videos are just fun and we do things like together where we're learning from each other and i'm expanding on the ideas that y'all put in the comments Comments. progress over perfection that's how we learn that's how we do things yeah and I just really want to implement like good practices like I don't want to make videos just for like the algorithm I want to do things for the audience that's watching me and yeah I have to just be smart about like tuning in to like pop culture moments on um, popular keywords and I only have like 20 hours in total to work on videos so I have to be very smart about how much time I allocate to each of the processes of making videos. And I am very obsessive, so like thumbnails I always obsess about. And I just have to think about whether the videos I'm making resonates with like my values and my vision. So that's just like what I'm doing for YouTube, <laughs> just an insight of what's to come. But going back on a personal note, I just really am in the mindset of learning. I went back to school, you can say, this, what was it? In December, when I went back home, I went to Parsons. So Parsons has this certification program through Coursera, which is this like online site that provides free or like premium courses. I took the Parsons slash Coursera course that specializes on digital fashion innovation. So I did a seven day Coursera trial and that way I was able to get my first certificate in the program called Digital Fashion Mindset. And I highly recommend it if you're interested in basically learning about how digital fashion is transforming the industry it provides a lot of different solutions of how digital fashion can help with sustainability and environmental and social issues and supply chains and how design can become more efficient by using 3d systems and softwares it was really eye-opening i was able to finish the first course in four days i just took a break in between every other day but they were saying it was like a month-long course so you can pace yourself. I just kind of got really obsessive with it. I learned a lot, highly recommend. I got the certificate, I put it on my LinkedIn, saying I was oh so proud of myself. Highly recommend that you just take time to learn about digital fashion, especially when there's more AI stuff coming out and there's like more softwares. Highly recommend. And then the second course of this program is called Digital Fashion Industry. I haven't started it because the program charges you $50 
dollars a month to continue with the like the premium courses after the free trial i do want to learn but i'm still thinking about whether i want to pay those 50 dollars because i'm so broke right now so maybe now is not the time especially when i'm going to be working 60 hours yeah there's like four courses in total i just took one going back to like the final points of my life i can't be in montana anymore uh, I came back this Thursday. I was crying on the plane because I didn't want to come back, but I'm really broke <laughs> I don't really have money to move right now I have a shitload of stuff in my room that I have to get rid of my car is currently dead because it's a janky car Yeah, but high hopes that I can save up money within these next two months and I want to move to New York. I really just need more diversity in my life. Something about Queens, ideally I would want to live with myself. I like full control of my things and schedule. I just get really anxious not knowing if I'll have a quiet apartment to, to film in. I want a studio with like a lot of plants. I want a lot of like soft yellow lights. And I want like a little tarot slash witchy like table in my apartment. And I also really want to be close to like a sustainable fashion community. I rarely talk about sustainable fashion with anyone in real life, which is so sad. And ideally I want my rent to be like less than 30% of my monthly earnings. So I really need to find like a remote full-time job, hopefully like in the climate space. But yeah, that's basically the overview of the vibes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna be making videos like you saw every Sunday. Bye. <laughs> Take care.